Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your quickie love update. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer. All right, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. All right, so Cancer, I've already meditated on your cards. I've already called in the divine for divine assistance here. We're going to go ahead and get started. All right. Energy between you and your person. Development, um, I'm sorry, Page of Pentacles. Your person's energy. Queen of Cups, your energy. King of Cups. All right, Divine Fair here. Between the two of you, we have the Two of Wands. Your person has the Four of Swords. We have the Star card. All right. we have the magician your person has the five of pentacles you have the two of pentacles and the knight of swords wanted to come out as well king of wands at the bottom of the deck here so what i'm seeing here is that you and your person was in a very good space in the recent past here um looking at each other as your um div your divine counterpart right trying to you know build the trust between the two of you and just focusing on manifesting all right that's kind of where you and your person was at now the current energy shows that your person is in the four of swords like a need to just like you know feeling like they just need a break all right needing a break um needing time to clear their head for whatever reason you're in an energy of feeling the need to heal something right uh bring back some balance in your life and reevaluating your hopes wishes and dreams here all right and with the two of wands here this is all about you know feeling like you need to choose another path it's like the both of you are feeling like you know you need to choose a path. Maybe you didn't choose the right one, but you guys are at a fork in the road right now. You and this person. And just wondering if you, you know, which direction to go here. Now we have the magician uh, center of the, you know, the road for the near future. Your person has five of pentacles and you have the two of pentacles. So your energy, you're going to come back into balance healing card here star here you're gonna bring you're gonna fix whatever it is that you're feeling or you feel like you need to heal from it's gonna happen for you and you're gonna get back balance now your person they're gonna feel shut out left out like you turned your back on them and there's this energy of you know trying to i feel like this is an energy of manipulation that's gonna come in because we also have the knight of swords so this is like you rushing in not really thinking about you know um, the outcome or the consequences of something just kind of rushing in okay and it just feels like some form of manipul in manipulation is taking place which causes you to get into this energy of feeling the need to rush in so we're going to take a look at the magician card here why the magician please why is it here why is it here please All right, we have the High Priestess here with the Four of Wands and the World card. All right, so it's like this is actually an energy of someone trying to someone's trying to manifest a deeper connection here. They want to move to the next uh, level, next chapter in this relationship, hoping that it pans out um, to marriage here. 
is what you know someone is is wanting now hmm, could be you could be them but somebody here is It's like they're contemplating, you know, how to get to this four of wands and get to the next chapter. So I still feel like there's someone trying to have some type of manipulation here. All right. Tell me about the five of pentacles. Why is it here? Thank you. So we have the five of pentacles um, and it's clarified by the five of cups. Yeah, your person is feeling some form of remorse. Yeah, and they're trying to they're trying to like wiggle their way back in with you. But there's something that's going to make you feel the need to to rush back towards them. Tell me about the Knight of swords, please. Why is it here? Why is it here for cancer? Why is it here in Cancer's energy? So, yeah, this is you at that fork in the road here. And you're wondering if, you know, maybe you need to just give it one last try. Is kind of the energy that you're going to be in when you decide to rush towards them. Even though you've gotten yourself back balanced. Tell me about the two of pentacles, please. Why is it here? It's like you're still going to get in an energy of feeling the need to rush back into the connection. Six of swords. Yeah, that's, you know, you being balanced and feeling like you need to return. You need to, things calm down and, you know. It's like you wanted to be in another calmer space, feeling like if you bring forth some clarity into the conversation, I mean, into the situation, have a conversation with your person and bring in some clarity that maybe things will get better. And that's why you're going to rush back towards them for a, like another try or one last try. Tell me about this four of swords, please. Why is it here? Four of Swords, Justice. Mm. So your person has acquired some type of karmic debt here. Third party situation. Um, three of Wands could be third party here. And Four of Swords, yeah. So there's like some, there was some form of a third party situation type of issue that took place here that your person acquired some form of karmic debt about. And they're just trying to find peace of mind um, with whatever it was that took place here. Now, tell me about the star. Why is it here? Tell me about the star card. Yeah, so something took place and you found out whatever it was, you, you know, you sought clarity. And whatever it was, whatever this you know, situation was between you and them where it may have been a third party. And once you got the truth about it, it caused you to shut off from this person, right? You close off from them. Um, no longer having anything to say. And we have the nine of pentacles that's turned over in the deck and, you know, deeming yourself as single based off of whatever took place here. All right, this is for Cancer, Summer Rising. What are the messages, please?
All right, we have loneliness and hopeless. Your person has a stable foundation. You have tranquility, peace of mind. All right, let's continue. We have divine couple. Your person has intimacy, total transparency. And you have ascending. All right, we have dreaming of you, heartache, regrets, or sorrow, and trapped. All right, so what I'm seeing here, Cancer, is, you know, again, there was something that took place between you and this person, okay? You and this person, and it's like, you know, someone started feeling like the other was not, you know, investing enough time or something to that effect into the connection all right now the energy that you guys were currently in is you do look at this person like they could be your divine counterpart but you feel like you know um whatever it is that this person or however this person like the way that they come towards you just makes you it, it's like there's some form of a disconnect that you feel as it relates to this person but like they're not as into the connection as you are and it just causes you to want to just move move on past the whole thing now the thing about it is you know you think about this person often, like you're you're really caught up in your head about what you think may be happening or what this person, how this person's truly feeling, you know, and it just has you like in a, like feeling stuck to a certain degree, but there's something that took place between you and them and this person, they're regretful about it, but you don't know the entire truth about whatever it is. Tell me about heartache, regret, sorrow. Yeah, there was some, there was some kind of um, new start with someone else um, as it relates to your person, an earth sign, male or female. We have the king of pentacles, but it doesn't have to be a male, you know. So, but there was some type of new start that took place. Now, whatever it was. Yeah, there was some, yeah, there's manipulation here. This person was being very sneaky. And so basically it looks like they're feeling very regretful. They're sorry. They're sorry about it. Now, I feel like you have you have a, a gut feeling about it, but you're not sure. Tell me about trapped. So you're holding on to this person, you know, because you're not 100% sure so it's like you don't want to let them go if it's nothing. Yeah, you're not you're not sure. So what you're what you're gonna do is tr just try to you know start fresh and let it go because you feel like you don't have enough information to hold them accountable for whatever it is that you're thinking has taken place. Uh -oh. yeah five of cups here so you know there was some emotional upset but you just don't have what you need to back up what you're thinking tell me about intimacy total transparency why is it here yeah, see, this person is not being honest about something. We have the sun in reverse. Well, we're not going to take all of these. Oh, it's three. Well, let's see. And the three of swords here. So we have the three of swords, the three of cups. It's definitely a third party situation that this person has put you in. Nine of swords, page of wands. Now they're all in their head and king of cups. They feel like you know. You, they feel like you know. So, 
Yeah, and they're all in their head about it. There's some there's something about um hmm. this person feels like like you are somewhat aware of whatever it was that they've done unbeknownst to you. They feel like you, you're you kind of aware of it to a certain degree um, because they feel like you're going in a different direction now. You've come to them with some form of new information. Yeah, you've come to them about, you've come to them with some new information. And so now it's like they're in an energy of trying to get past whatever, they want to quickly get past whatever it was. This person may use their sexuality to try to get you to forget or not ask about it or not talk about it or something like that. Tell me about loneliness. Yeah, this person, you know, seven of pentacles, page of pentacles, mm, knight of cups. So, yeah, this person, what it is, is there was, it's like there's someone or two, I think there's two people, you know, that this person talks to. An earth sign and a water sign. Water sign could be you. And there's this earth sign person showing up again. You know, they showed up here and now they're showing up here again. So this person here, they're a king, but here they're a page. So this per so your person has been speaking with this person or dealing with this person on some level for quite a while. Because this person, there's growth and maturity from this person. There's age difference here. So they've been dealing with or talking to this person for a while. Okay? And they still are. Unbeknownst to you. But you had some form of a hunch about it. And you came to them with your thoughts or the new information, you know, that you were thinking or feeling. All right? And so now they're scrambling, trying to... You know, cover up whatever it is. They're regretting it now. All right, so we're at 1842 here. Let's see what the romance angels have to add to this. This is for Cancer, Sun, and Rising, please. What are the messages? What do they need to know for their highest good? Let go of control issues wants to come out. What do they need to know for their highest good, please? Cancer, Sun, and Rising. Romantic feelings, calling in your soulmate and passion. So, this is, you know, all about forgiving and learning, true love. So, you care about this person, but it looks like, you know, this person, you know, 
looks like a, a lot of your connection with this person is from a passionate type of perspective, you know? But there's a need for you guys to kind of talk to one another and get to know each other a little bit more. All right. Now, center of this reading is forgiving and learning. So there's definitely something that happened um, that, you know, if you choose to remain with this person, you will have to be able to heal because it's going to affect the way you love one another if you don't. So you need to pay attention to the red flags, um, though, in this whole situation. Like, so what I'm seeing here is that you try to stay optimistic about being with this person because you're very, very attracted to them. And so you try to, it's like you try to just be positive. In essence, what I'm seeing here is that you make excuses for their actions. You make excuses for their actions. But you need to love yourself first. So it's like you loving that you're, you're trying to love them. But what are you sacrificing here? So it's like you need to bring in some more self-love. You know, the relationship... So Spirit is saying you can give this a chance if you think you're able to forgive whatever has taken place. It looks like the, the truth of it is going to come out because there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Where, you know, there's going to be some, some truth that's going to come out. So the question is, will you be able to forgive whatever it is, you know, that you learn? That this person may have done. So let's see what advice um, the Spirit Animal Oracle has for you. And we'll go ahead and close out this reading. Alright, this is for Cancer. So I'm going to rise and read. What are the messages? What are the advice messages? Alright, thank you. All right, so we have the crow spirit here. We have the badger spirit. And we have the electric eel spirit here. All right, so basically these are here to say, uh, number one, you need to work with spirit, all right? Trust your gut instinct. If you, if you feel it in your gut, then it's probably the truth, all right? Be fearless and bold, so don't, don't shy away from, you know, pretty much what I seen you doing, um, addressing your concerns or bringing up in conversation the red flags that you're seeing. All right. Electric ill is bringing your ideas to life. So the way that you feel things ought to be basically spirit is saying you can manifest that, you know, it's, it's you can have it. But you need to be able to go after it and be and let spirit guide you towards what it is you truly desire here. I feel like they're saying you can have it with whatever this situation is that you have right now, but it would take a lot of work. Or you can let spirit guide you to something that's more suiting or suitable or suited to what you're looking for what you desire so that's what i have for you uh cancer if this resonates with you uh feel free to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future readings feel free to comment in the comment section let me know if this is your story if it did not resonate with you watch your moon and rising sign readings and also come back each week uh to view the weekly updates to see if there's any messages there for you all right thanks for watching